I am currently ranked 99 in the world with the magnificent, illustrious Classic Lava Loon deck. It is time to absolutely demolish my opponents inside of the top 100. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Mini CB coming up first. Let's see what he's got for me. Mighty Miner, Skeleton Barrel. I wonder if his deck gets countered by bomb tower that might explain the clan name it is going to be the royal recruits bridge spam deck it's, it's not the typical bridge spam deck though you're gonna see this guy running goblins goblin gang skeleton barrel it's just an assortment of spam cards meant to just dominate you and uh, i'm not feeling very good about this this matchup this is not going to be fun um just look at this the skeletons did an okay job there we're gonna take like a bunch of damage but i mean we're playing lava did i really take like a bunch of damage we're only down a thousand and that's saying a lot considering this deck is meant to just dominate you in single elixir basically if i can get to double elixir i think i can win this game but it's going to be much much more difficult than oh wait 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 i have to go barbs though I wanted to save barbs for his recruits, but I have to go barbs because Mega Minion, if I play it, he's just going to hit the ability and there's nothing we can do. So that's just rough. I've got Fireball ready for his Dark Goblin. I don't know if he's going to play it. He might. Um, the thing is, we don't want these bad boys to start charging. Um, he's going to Fireball. Did I say Mighty Miner? I meant Dark Goblin. I meant I wanted to take out the Dark Goblin. Ooh, okay. This is actually pretty clean defense here. And I don't think we have to respond to anything else. Yeah, clean. So we're heading into double elixir only down about 200 damage and so things could turn pretty quickly but i feel good about going lava here just gonna go ahead and uh, throw barbarians out as well they're gonna pull this mighty miner we can afford to tank a little bit of damage from the wall breakers it's the healthy lane it's always okay to tank a little bit of damage especially when my tower is full hp let's see what he's got for me he's gonna go Ooh, that dark goblin might not come over to the balloon that would be a, a, a amazing thing if it didn't come over to the balloon um, it does. We're going to have to zap here. I think this is a good zap, though, because I, I want to be able to take out his tower. I expect wall breakers coming in the left lane. Um, he's not... Oh, he does. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't have to worry about the Mighty Miner switching lanes because we've got the Mega Minion to help out. Fireball as well. And just like that, I think that's going to be GG's. Um, hey, he's giving me a good game well played. You don't see players being this nice nowadays well we played a pretty good game and absolutely put down this horrifying bridge spam deck facing off against clown here i'm probably going to start off with tombstone lava i absolutely love that combination man it is beautiful it does so much work against hard counters as well sometimes we can win games against hard counters if we can starting uh hand them basically get a good starting hand so he doesn't reply to my tombstone which is very good we're going to get a plus three elixir trade looks like splash yard i'm not gonna lie nobody does that tombstone besides graveyard players so i'm really thinking it's graveyard mega minion coming in here he's gonna get distracted by these skeletons sadly i think we're just going to have to oh this is a good zap opportunity actually um because we should be able to target this okay that's fine honestly like i've seen worse we're just gonna fireball up here i think skeleton dragons as well can't hurt um we're gonna maybe force out a okay good tornado Good tornado. I was hoping we could force out a poison, but it's okay because we still managed to get a lot of connections there and he's going to have to respond to... Ooh, wait, I have a plan. I have a plan. Okay. So the baby dragon's going to sit here, die to my tower, and he's not going to be able to pull the king tower because the baby dragon's going to make the balloon too weak. So basically, we just pulled off like a beautiful plus two elixir trade there. So, I mean, well, I guess it's not a plus to elixir trade because he played the baby dragon on defense but the whole point is that was nifty and i'm a great player come on i think we're safe to go lava considering i have barbs in my hand the only way i would not be safe going lava is if he could go like baby dragon graveyard opposite lane or knight graveyard but since he doesn't have oh oh can we get a nice fireball here on the knight please oh yeah but considering he doesn't have the um 
just the baby dragon in cycle and he just knighted in the back that was just really good for us so i guess we're gonna force out a poison here he's gonna get really good poison value but uh it's okay um skeleton dragons just a four for four on the poison the mega minion was gonna die anyways so we got a little bit of chip damage and now is where we start having to worry a little bit so we're in a barbs pre-barbs for his graveyard nice really nice really nice I'm going to go Lava Hound probably to tank for this Baby Dragon so that it does not get chip damage on my tower. And I think we flawlessly defended that graveyard. That was actually kind of dope. I'm going to go Mega Minion up here. I think we're going to go Skelly Drags as far left as I can so that they don't like all get killed by the poison. And then we're going to just try and out chip him, I guess. Um, get a good hit on the... Ooh, I was hoping we would get two hits there, but it's okay. Um, I'm not really too worried about this spot. I think we're in a good situation here. I'm just going to take this fireball and the ice whiz just to get him out of here. And then I believe we can just let this tombstone wrap it up. Go with another lava and chill. And we're still sitting at 3,924 health. That is a lot of health considering we're like three minutes into this game. Pre-barbs again. We're going to go skeleton dragons up here and a mega minion as well because I, I had a feeling he was going to poison those barbs. Because um, it's kind of a good idea for him to poison the barbs because now he doesn't have to deal with the barbs like on a counter push. He doesn't have to worry about them and he gets tower damage. But what he doesn't know is that I know he's going to do that. So I place the skeleton dragons outside of the poison and our balloon is ignoring the tombstone and we have killed the tombstone. And I think we're going to get that hit. Yes, we do. So securing the W against clown, a very good player and splash yard, a pretty tough matchup. GG's. Dr. Puerto Rico, my friends. Dr. Puerto Rico running the same deck that we faced earlier with Mighty Miner. Um, he's got the Dark Goblin, or he might have Firecracker. I don't know what he runs, but it's going to be rough. We got to be um, looking out for his spam. I'm going to take that out quickly, and I think I'm going to have to Tombstone as well here. A little bit of an overcommitment. I never like using all of my ground cards like that. I like to always have at least one ground card for insurance, but it's okay. Let's see if he's going to play a Dark Goblin or anything like that. He doesn't. He'll probably just hit this Mighty Miner ability. And so we'll go up 700 damage. Not too shabby indeed. Mega Minion coming in because he doesn't have his ability back yet. And we should be able to take out that Mighty Miner um, nice and easy. So we've got to take this, this matchup very calmly, very patiently. We've got to be like... Um, very smart with when we go in. I'm actually going to sit here. Hold on. I'm going to sit here because I don't want to go lava just yet. I don't know if I'm leaking or not. I haven't been paying attention to elixir. Um, I'm still going to leak though. I'm still going to leak. I have a feeling. Um, I if Okay. I'm just going to take that fireball, honestly. Um, there's not too much fireball bait in this matchup. He has dark goblin. But, I mean, other than that, there's not really much to fireball. So, it usually is just fireballing the dark goblin. But if there's any other way to, to... Ooh, I don't know about that. If there's any other way to deal with, like, the dark goblin, then I'll pretty much be able to fireball whatever I want. I guess, you know, like, like that situation there, we had the goblins and the spear goblins. So, I mean, there wasn't much to fireball in the first place um, besides the dark goblin, like I said. So... He's going once again in with the crazy spam. We're going to go Lava Hound here. I think it's a good time to go Lava. Uh, I'm just going to probably ignore the Skeleton Barrel and then just go maybe maybe Barbs like this. And then we should be able to take it out. He does pop the ability. I'm going to go Mega Minion, try and save this tower, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay, so we didn't save the tower, unfortunately. But we should be able to take this right tower, since I don't think the Dark Goblin is going to come over here and, and, and join the party. Um, so, yeah, that's very good for us. We take two Wallbreaker hits, though. That's not very good at all. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Skelly Drags like this. I'm going to go Tombstone as well, because I can't let these skeletons on the tower right now. The Dark Goblins are going to be such a pain in the ass, dude. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to go Mega Minion here. Uh, probably Fireball as well. How do we not take either one of those out? That's crazy to me, guys. That's genuinely crazy. I don't understand how we don't kill either one of those. Uh, I'm going to go Skelly Drags like this. Wow, guys. This is skill. This is skill, guys. Spamming the goblins at the bridge. Very skill, very skill. He only has... Ooh, if he plays his Dark Goblin, I might be able to... Hmm, unfortunate. I'm gonna go like this. Um, he fireballs. I don't think he caught all of them, though. Okay, we're gonna go with the balloon here. Um, we'll see if we can just zap his, his spears really fast. Um, we did, so he's gonna have to fireball, I believe. Wait, does he have it in cycle? Oh, he didn't, because he just used it on the barbs. Let's go. Let's go, bro. 
That was a beautiful game, bro. And a plus 41. That is ridiculous. And now, my friends, we got up to 82 in the world. It's time to push up to 2,800. Mr. Ahmad coming in. He is the only thing standing between us and reaching 2,800 medals. Let's see if we can pull off this dub. Not the greatest starting hand. I'd love to go with the tombstone in the lava, but unfortunately, no lava to be seen. Ooh, mini peck at the bridge. Wow. I Wow. I feel like I'm back in mid ladder. <laughs> Um, I don't know what he's going to follow this up with. Maybe Mother Witch, maybe Sparky. Okay. Um, I'm actually just going to zap this Sparky here just to get a little extra damage. It's not going to do crazy amounts of work. I mean, I'll just take the 1400 damage, I feel like. Um, I don't think that's like a great play, but I also don't think it's horrible. We got a bunch of extra damage. Uh, now we've just got to worry about a massive Goblin Giant push building up, though. Uh, I think, honestly... We should go Skelly Drags and then probably Barbarians and Zap, but I don't know if I'm going to get my Zap down in time. Ooh, ooh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is actually beautiful. Okay, he does have Fireball, I think, because all Goblin Giant decks run Fireball nowadays. So we're feeding him a lot of Fireball value. But hey, we did deal with... I mean, I'd love if he didn't have Fireball. Like I said, all... All the decks have Fireball now, so um, it's not really surprising, but hey, um, I'm not complaining. We dealt with his push. We only took 700 damage, so that's pretty good, and I've got a Tombstone ready for this Knight as well. Not worried about it. Um, I could go with the Mega Minion behind my push instead of a Balloon in case he has minions or something. I guess the minions would still... Hmm, I don't know. I'll, I'll save Mega Minion for defense. I'm kind of feeling saving the Mega Minion for defense because... Um, I kind of need that DPS unit. Skelly drags just kind of die. Um, so I guess we can wait for the Goblin Giant to lock on and then go Mega Minion here. Um, and the minions die to the bomb. So an interesting decision by him going for the minions there. Um, he expected barbs. I was not going to play barbs there, however. And what we are going to do instead is go barbarians like this. And uh, we're going to hopefully... Okay, Evolve Knight. Hey, we forced out the Evolve Knight on defense. That's actually really good. Um... And now I think we can just go in with maybe a tombstone. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I think I'll go in this lane, though, just because he's probably going after the left lane. So I didn't expect that. Wait, how did he... Did he zap as well? Did he really spend six elixir on that? I mean, okay. You, you, do, you do you, buddy, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to barbs up here. Um... Skelly Drags is going to put in some work as well. We're going to go Mega Minion 2. And uh, he's somehow back to Fireball. Oh, that's because he cycled the Zap with the tower to kill it. Right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Please, Mega Minion. Oh, I wanted the Mega Minion to stay alive. That's unfortunate. It's okay, though. I think we're going to go in with the Balloon here. Um, I think this is going to result in some big damage. So I'm just feeling good about this. We're going to go with the Zap last second here. We should be able to get one hit. And Death Bomb and Lava Pups should be able to seal it. And we're going to just need one more fireball. So, hey, man, 2,800. Beautiful. It is. I can smell it. It's it's right there. And we've got it. Beautiful. Absolutely outplaying the Goblin Giant player. We are climbing quickly, my friends. Up to 56 in the world with Classic Lava Loon. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's get another dub. Facing off against Thunder Fiore. He is 100 trophies below us. So, unfortunately, this is going to be a very, very risky game. Either I'm going to win and get, like... 20 trophies or I lose and and lose 40 so we're gonna have to take the dub lava in the back baby if I've got a tombstone down I'm going lava um he could be playing Remielli. he could be playing teabag's poison minor wallbreaker deck he could be playing a lot of things we don't quite know until we see that magic archer I'm setting up for some good barbs value though I'm not gonna hey I'm not saying no to no barbs value um I think we should just go Skelly Drags and find out what he's playing. And then if he Magic Archers, we'll Fireball. If he goes... Okay. Okay. I stuttered. And I tried to cover it up. And I didn't do a very good job. But what I did do a very good job at was getting some goddamn damage. That's what I did a good job at. Because look at this. Right tower down to 2400 with the barbs. Left tower down to... 1363 with the Skelly Drags and just like that. The massive lead is beautiful. It's beautiful indeed. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and let those go actually because I would like to save Tombstone for the 
for the night. Do you think that's a good... Let me know in the comments if you think that was a good decision. Because I kind of like... If I go tombstone and then go lava i it makes him it makes it way harder for this guy to go with the okay well i guess i just kind of threw the tombstone away but hey his magic archer is gone so i guess it wasn't entirely a bad thing but basically if i wait to go with a tombstone before i lava then the pressure that he puts on me is way less if you know what i'm saying it's like way way less pressure i'm gonna assume he's not gonna go bomb tower in the right lane or the left lane um he decides to go okay okay interesting bomb tower interesting bomb tower uh worked out for him he's gonna be able to pull a king tower i believe um let's see if we can just prevent him from doing that though by getting death bomb yeah that works that works out that works out we're gonna need to build up a lava push i'm gonna need to get my spells back in cycle as well and first of all we're gonna need to make sure that we can clean up his push so i'm going skelly drags first and then oh I was hoping they would go back to the miner, but it's okay. We've got barbs to help out on defense. I don't need to do much to this lava. I just kind of need to back it up a little bit. We're going to go mega minion here for this marcher. Try and kill it before all my barbs die. And we're going to zap as well so I can try and kill the magic archer. Unfortunately, we're not going to kill the magic archer. Um, at least not here. We're going to have to go skelly drags and maybe even with go with the tombstone as well. Uh, interesting. Interesting plays. A very interesting plays, if I do say so myself. Don't quite understand that play, but it's okay. He tried. He tried. I'm not putting the log any lower than that, bro. <laughs> I mean the tombstone. I'm not letting you log that, bro. Come on. GG's. With that win, that should put us at top 50 in the world. So a nice successful day of pushing. Only a 21 there, but we are going to get to top 48 in the world. So I hope you enjoyed that push. Let me know if you liked the video today. Let me know if you liked the face cam. Uh, first time trying out the green screen face cam. Hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.